Ce mai? Before uh, we uh, ask the response of the other resource persons, may I uh, also submit my own observation? Yes, no, no. Under, honorable Goddess, Honorable Shakitari, Mr. Kumai. You should proceed. No, 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 Mr. Chairman. I think uh, the homeowners realized that it was difficult from the physical point of view to run the waterworks because they were not source of water and the commercial viability was in question. But when my Milan came into the picture, it became clearer. But in this particular case, instead of uh, passing through the uh, PWCC, the inclination was, hayaan na lang yung In fact, my Milan starting laying uh, the pipes there. In other words, to bypass the PWCC and let uh, it be connected directly to my Milan. But uh, BF Homes Incorporated, PWCC, intervened and the, I think the answer can be explained in economic terms. 12,000 households consuming about one cubic meter per household. The MWSS or Manila is offering 23 pesos per cubic meter. Uh, PWCC would like to charge at least 50 pesos, in other words, a markup of more than 25 pesos times 12,000 cubic meters per day. That is 300,000 pesos times 30 days. That is 9 million pesos. So it is a 9 million peso a month question. That is uh, at the bottom of all of this. Uh, this is, uh, to my mind, the reason why the uh, Homes Incorporated would like to remain in the picture because of uh, the very tempting 9 million peso proposition. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, to Ni question na kani na hanap buhay. Ni question may tubig pa. E wala tubig eh. Then ay may tubig na because of pailita. No 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 no. Then buy the hotel yung kon. Oh, may tubig ka. Kung may tubig naman, how often yung tubig? Ah, kung how often naman, malinis ba ang tubig? Patapos mura ba ang tubig? In other words, ah. Uh, ang ito sabi ni Mr. Chairman, uh, ngayon na lang, alam natin na dyan ang Maynilad. I mean, on their own, they can go and uh, take possession. Malalay ko nagiging problema ninyo, halo-halo kayo. May paranyake, may mugtitlupa, may laspinyas. Pero that should not stop you. Because to me, it's universal. Eh. It's everybody's concern. Doon na ako naramdaman na Mr. Rice, Mr. Chairman, na Ang tagal din na bago uminit. Ang tagal din na bago uminit. Kuro na sana na sila ng medya-medya ng aligo, medya-medya ng aligo. Kuro na sana sila ng Sir Chairman. I really can't understand this because I know that water is a problem in that area. Eh ngayon lang siya na may nila din. And we know very well that they're charging 23. And it just doesn't make, you know, you have to be a genius. Nagpapahay ka na 50. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, we can assist them here by web legislation, pero wala kayo ko, on their own, they can do it, Mr. Chairman, but we will support them in uh, whatever capacity we can. Okay, Honorable Chair, Yeah, I think the same. Ever since the Manila and the new management came into my district, they have been plenty of water there. Maybe, thanks to you, Mr. Simpson, 95% of my district. Water now. They cannot take a bath three times a day. Before what's the day? But before I go into the local uh, scenario, uh, I, I want to find out a few things that government agencies can do. Whether they have done it or not done it is really not the story. But let me just say, they generally are okay. You make certain decisions that affect residents or owners of the region. Can you also enforce those decisions and how do you enforce them? How do you enforce your decisions, if I may ask you? You made decisions and then there is a rule. There is a... How do you enforce it? As far as we are a part of the decision, as we are not, if a decision has become final in the territory, the implementation is to a sheriff. The regular sheriff. So the law empowers you to decide and you are also empowered to call upon the sheriff to enforce your particular. So that much you have. In this particular case, were you at any given time uh, 
allow, or did you use the, the powers of the sheriff to design cases that uh, you have ruled on? Yes, uh, the Southern Alcohol Owners Association filed a petition before HLURD, our Mexican office, uh, indicated that the power of the point of presentation of the Honorable Congressman Gomez. And uh, the decision of our regional office was favorable on the part of the homeowners. The basis of which is uh, Presidential Decree 1345, meaning upon recommendation of the upon petition by the homeowners association or the developer, the HLURB may recommend to the MWSS to take over the operation. In this case, we have recommended uh, to the MWSS to take over the uh, water uh, system in the uh, homes. And the only one that could stop you is a it's another court that issues either a temporary restraining order or whatever injunction calls for. Yes. Uh, in which case, if your decision is reversed, you can always go to the Court of Appeals. Yes. In and this goes on and on, and this may take another 25, 30 years. Yes, the, the law provides that the decisions of the, uh, our regional office is appealable to the Board of Commissioners. And uh, the decision of the Board of Commissioners is appealable to the office of the president, and the uh, decision of the office of the president is available to the court of appeals, and uh, finally the Supreme Court. So then there is a possibility, therefore, that this problem can go all the way to the Supreme Court. Yes, Your Honor. And this has happened before, and it may, may as well happen in this case. It could go all the way to the Supreme Court. Yes, in fact, the decision of the board has been appealed to the office of the president in so far as the case is filed before us. Okay. May I just now ask the National Water Resource Board, exactly what is your role here? You are the only agency that is specifically tasked with the National Water Resource Management. Exactly what is your role here? That is uh, correct, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just like uh, as presented by uh, Honorable Congressman Wallace, the National Water Resources Board inherited the powers or of the Public Service Commission with respect to the regulation of private water utilities. So in that sense, we grant certificates of public convenience to private water utilities, including property developers and homeowners association operating water system within their respective areas. Certificates of public convenience. 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 And this is renewable every year, twice a year. Uh, uh, 